Cochran and Van Leth, both freshmen starting for the Cardinals this season. No one's going to argue that as Van Leth knocks down the three. And Hoover, but the free throw shooting woes continue. Boy, this is something Wake's going to need to shore up to try to continue to hang with number one. There have been some hooking inside that I didn't see. I'll tell you what, Scruggs just works her way into those rebounds. <laughs> and she, she got away with it that time, whether or not it was completely oh, legal. Wow. Nice finish by Cochran. Thank Kelly, she didn't look like a freshman. No, freshmen aren't supposed to be able to do this. One dribble up and under. We have a great game. You want to beat the number one team in the country. More often than not, you've got to shoot better than 10 for 22 from the free throw line because you've left the door open. Evans looking to get it inside. Dixon, the bounce got away from her a bit. Didn't matter, still got the bucket. And Gina Conti does a great job of playing defense without fouling. Scruggs with six on the shot clock. Nowhere to go. Here comes Ratza. Little hesitation, got it to go. Wow, look at that. Look at that face. Look at Ivana Ratza, the fiery Serbian, trying to secure the biggest win in Wake Forest history. Also want to shoot the ball with enough time to give yourself a chance to get an offensive rebound. Evans going against Conti. Wow. Got the basket and they'll get a free throw. Why not give the ball to the reigning ACC player of the year. One of the best players in your school's history. And there's the emotion from Dana Evans. We talk about how she's normally so poised. She is normally so reserved. Conti. Hits it to Raza. A tough shot, and Wake Forest comes close, but cannot knock off number one.